the iconic rock band that defined an era with their electrifying sound and unparalleled musicianship. A classic by Led Zeppelin has been named the best guitar riff of all time, beating out ACDC, Ozzy Osbourne, and Deep Purple. But which of Jimmy Page's classics is it? There can be just one. It was the guitar riff that forever revolutionized music. Led Zeppelin burst onto the scene in 1969 with their self-titled first album. It was quickly followed by Led Zeppelin II the following year. The band had negotiated exceptional flexibility with their record company from the outset, allowing Page to take complete control of the production side, as well as creating much of the music on the previous albums, with Robert Plant on lyrics. A survey of Guitar World and Total Guitar Readers has determined the top 50 rock guitar riffs of all time. Van Halen's Ain't Talkin' Bout Love is ranked fifth. Deep Purple's Smoke on the Water is ranked fourth. ACDC's Back in Black is ranked third. And Randy Rhodes' iconic riff from Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train is ranked second. However, this is not the first and will not be the last time that Led Zeppelin... Whole Lot of Love achieves the top spot. Whole Lot of Love is one of Led Zeppelin's most iconic songs, characterized by its distinctive and powerful guitar riff, played by the legendary Jimmy Page. The riff of Whole Lot of Love is one of the most recognizable in rock music. It epitomizes Led Zeppelin's sound and their contribution to hard rock. Fifty years later, the 1969 tune remains as relevant and influential as ever. Total Guitar says, Whole Lot of Love's guitar figure took just 2.7 seconds to play, but it immediately projected music into another decade. While everyone else was still playing the 60s, Zeppelin were now playing the 70s. It wasn't the first great riff, but it is the defining one. It's why riffs became central to guitar music. The reason bands search for the guitar hook that can propel a whole song, or even a whole career. The middle section. Apart from the guitar riff, the song is also known for its avant-garde middle section, which features a variety of abstract sounds and musical improvisations. I used it on the middle part of Hollow of Love, where it's this big sort of uh, avant-garde section. Page used a theremin, a touch-sensitive electronic instrument, to create the eerie, oscillating sounds. These 
These experimental inclusions made Whole Lotta Love not just a hard rock anthem, but also a testament to the band's willingness to push boundaries. And Page has acknowledged how important the band's creative freedom was in their evolution. None of that might have happened if I had an outside producer. They might have questioned or not understood what I was doing. Or thought I was just making a bunch of noise. I was able to make sure our ideas were carried out without interference. But I do remember those shows because um, it was pretty radical, the music that we were playing, because it, it was it was the sort of music that, that it, it relied on improvisation. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this journey through Led Zeppelin's greatest guitar riffs. Be sure to let us know your favorites in the comments below.